of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has called on its members to join the hashtag end SARS protests, urging them not to be intimidated by the Fulani soldiers because that is their strategy. Kano's call is coming shortly after suspected soldiers opened fire, gunfire on hashtag NSAS protesters at Lake He toll gate in Lagos on Tuesday, October the 20th. It had been earlier reported that the protesters at the Lake He toll gate came under heavy gunfire shortly after the state governor Babatunde Sawolu announced a 24-hour curfew due to perceived violence. Several were injured as many fled for their lives upon the gunfire. After soldiers arrived at the protest ground around 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, October 20. However, Speaking through the spokesman of IPOP, Ima Powerful, Kano said the attack on protesters will not go without repercussions. The statement reads, As this struggle to free Nigerians from bondage and Fulani subjugation gets to its crucial stage, we the global movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Ably led by our great leader, Mazi Namdekanu, urged the end SARS protesters not to give up. As our leader predicted, the oppressors will try every option, including shooting at the protesters to quell the protests. But nobody should be deterred. We call on every youth man and woman to join the protests now this is the time everybody should identify with this movement to rescue our collective future and destiny from the suffocation by the fulani janjaweeds and jihadist cabal running nigeria in the name of the dead buhari Every indigenous nationality must come out to support this movement, pioneered by our brave youths. It will be dangerous if Nigerians allow this effort to die down. IPOP and its leader, Mazi Namdekano, are working tirelessly to ensure that the whole world hears about this atrocity and take necessary action. These barbaric attacks on peaceful and unarmed citizens whose only crime is demanding an end to police brutality and bad governance won't go unpunished. We therefore call on everybody never to allow themselves to be intimidated by Fulani terrorist soldiers because what because that is their strategy the Fulani wants to instill fear into the minds of Nigerians so as to intimidate everyone into subjugation and continue with their killing spree unchallenged we won't carve in we must be willing to resist them for the sake of our children. If we fail to stand our ground now and defend ourselves against these vampires, our generations unborn may never be free from Fulani bondage, he said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? IPOP members have said to join the protest on this particular issue so guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were from the look of things they are trying to stop the protest they are trying to um, keep
kill the protest, trying to shut people up. And um, as it is, it has only fueled the Nigerian youth to remain stronger, to come together and fight for this common goal. And they have said that no matter the level of intimidation, no matter what uh, the government does, the youth have vowed not to give up. Right now, as I'm talking to you, as I'm bringing this news to you, protesters are still on the lucky ground because uh, they have continued to push for support. They have continued to push and that they are not going to leave the lucky toll gate as uh, that is the ground of the protest in, Le in lucky the axis of Lagos State. That they have continued to push that they will continue to demand for the protest. They will continue to demand for uh, the the the, the better a better governance they, are, they will continue to demand for the end to police brutality in the country well it is getting stronger it is getting massive it is getting gory it is getting um uh really really uh tensed across the country on this particular one i stand to be corrected but nobody knows where this is heading to despite the curfew that the government has imposed or you know on the ground People are still venting, people are still uh, firing down, people are still uh, uh, hitting uh, on continuing the protest as they are not ready to give up as it is. It is really, really sad and unfortunate at the moment. Well, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is. The protest is continuing. So do you think... Uh, what, is, what are your thoughts, though, concerning what Namdekano has said concerning this particular news story, as it were? So, guys, it is what it is. How can this protest continue? Well, the protest is continuing because that people are demanding for a better Nigeria and a new Nigeria. Namdekano has been accused of running away. This is the time that all activists, protesters, people who call themselves or who feel that they have a voice should come out and speak for the nation, speak for the people, because this is the country that belongs to Nigeria, not uh, any individual, not the president, not the Senate president, not the uh, Speaker of the House of Rep, not even the Vice President or the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. This country belongs to Nigerians. And whether they like it or not, they have to do the dictates of Nigerians as it is. This is what Nigerians are calling for. Restructure this country now. Restructure the country now. The protest is still continuing. People are resilient. People are standing tall and they are demanding that they will continue to be on the streets. They are demanding that they will continue to be on the streets. So why those who have run away should come back and those who are in the diaspora should continue. Those who can go out to protest should go out and protest. Those who want to be online and protest should do that online. The message is clear and the message has to be sacrosanct. The message has to be very, very vivid to the authorities. The international community, if they have to wait in, they just have to wait in. Nigeria cannot continue like this. Nigeria must continue to work Hard. Nigeria must continue to uh, keep things going no matter what happens. So it is what it is, guys. We cannot continue like this. Where is this country heading to? So anybody, regardless of uh, your tribe, religion, status, age, whatever, everyone should join. The, whoever, whatever you claim, you are first Nigerian before any other thing that you might be claiming. So it is what it is. So it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.